Hello friends, Archangel with Crypto Angel here. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to unbridge tokens or bridge tokens from the Shibarium network over to the Ethereum network. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to shibarium.shib.io and we'll go ahead and connect our wallet through MetaMask. Now our tutorial wallet is connected then we will click on the staking up here and click bridge. Now, once we are here, we will select withdraw and we will be transferring from the Shibarium network to the Ethereum network. So we'll go ahead and select a token. I've done a token amount of wrapped ETH just for this tutorial. And we will click there and enter the 0 0.003 one ETH into the transfer. Now we'll go ahead and click the transfer button. Now it is important that we do read all of the notes listed. So what isn't possible? Canceling any withdrawal. You cannot cancel a withdrawal once you have begun the process. And this is indeed a process. So please make sure that you pay attention to every step. What is possible? Moving funds from Shibarium to Ethereum. Here you can move funds from the Shibarium to Ethereum mainnet. This will take 60 minutes to three hours. Now, before we follow through on that, we're gonna go ahead and look at the notification for a bone token transfer. And you'll see that if we select bone token, this text pops up over the transfer button that says, bone balance will take seven days to reflect. So remember that any token can transfer within 60 minutes to three hours. Uh, any bone token will take up to seven days to reflect. We'll go ahead and go back to our wrapped Ethereum. And again, 0 0.0031. I prefer to type it in because sometimes if you hit max, uh, and this is just a issue across all crypto platforms, Sometimes it doesn't get the rounding quite right and it will charge some extra gas fees that are unnecessary. So I always type in my numbers rather than clicking default or max. We'll go ahead and do this transfer. We've already read this text and we will hit continue. Now the withdrawal process for the proof of stake consists of two transactions. This is very important. So we're initializing the withdrawal and it is approved. We will click continue. Now this is a notification pop-up. This is not showing that the uh, Ethereum is transferring yet. We do need to hit continue and finish the process in MetaMask. The MetaMask pops up. We will need to switch our network from Ethereum to Shibarium network. Then we will continue and authorize and pay for the transaction in our bridge so we've done the initialization we are going through the checkpoint so the process this is processing the request your transaction will be confirmed in a few seconds and if we want to see it we can look on block explorer so we are now waiting for the checkpoint to go through checkpointing creates better security on the chain checkpointing will take from 45 minutes to three hours so we can see that we've got three steps in this particular process. And if we transfer bone, which I'm not going to do right now because I want to get this tutorial out before seven days is up, but you will notice a fourth uh, process here that is a challenge transaction that we'll discuss a little bit later. But that is that challenge is the seven day period. So it'll be listed as challenge period, I believe. And that'll be that seven day period that you'll have to wait before the bone is reflected to your Ethereum wallet. So we'll go ahead and close out of this now. And while that's waiting, I went ahead and did a previous transaction so we would not have to wait for the, the um, checkpointing. And we need to click on transactions. So our, our bridging is not complete until we follow through with going to the transactions and you can either select all transactions or pending either way. So we are going to look at our previous pending transaction that we did earlier and click continue. So we can see the checkpointing is done on this transaction. If we look at the one we just did, the checkpointing 
is still in process. So once your checkpointing is done, a lot of people have stopped at the previous step without selecting the transaction process to finish out this transaction. So we are not completed, but our checkpointing is done. So we will need to continue. Your transaction has been checkpointed on the Ethereum mainnet. Please proceed to the next transaction. So now we're still on the Shibarium mainnet and we will be transferring over to the Ethereum mainnet. So we will now switch networks. And this transaction is in process and we will pay the gas and finalize this transaction on the Ethereum network. So you can see our gas fees are now in ETH instead of Bone and significantly more expensive than the Bone transaction. We'll go ahead and click confirm. And this is now processing on the Ethereum network. So you can see that tran the transfer is in process. Your transfer is in progress in the queue. It will take up to seven days to get completed. However, that is mainly for the, the bone transaction. So we'll go ahead and click. Hey friends, I apologize for the abrupt transition of the video. However, my recording equipment went a little crazy. And so we cropped it at the most convenient location that didn't have any crazy errors in it. So I, I did want to finish this video with uh, showing that the withdrawal of the 0.003 Ethereum that we transferred was successful. I was able to look at Etherscan and confirm that the transaction was a success and we have our transaction hash here as well. Now, I did want to make sure that we remember that after we complete our bridge function and we see that uh, checkpoint completion, that we remember to go to the transactions tab and click continue. So we can see that the withdrawal that we started at the beginning of this tutorial has actually already gone through its checkpoint. Um, I did want to explain if we were trying to uh, bridge bone back from the Shibirium, Shibirium mainnet to the Ethereum mainnet, that there would be an additional step here called challenge period. So if we clicked continue and this were for the bone, uh, this would continue the transaction. You would pay your fees through MetaMask and you would be issued an NFT that would uh, reflect the bone tokens back to your Ethereum mainnet wallet in that seven day time frame. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out on the Shiba Tech Discord or Telegram or leave a comment below. You can also find me on Twitter slash X, whatever you want to call it, and post your questions there. And with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Archangel out.